What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, uh, I just got this Tesla Design Power Bank and want to show it to you because, you know, you know I have a few Teslas, the, the P80 and uh, my Tesla Roadster. Um, just kidding. I don't own a Tesla. And in fact, everything about Tesla is seriously overpriced, including this power bank. But I bought it because I wanted to share it with you. So I will tell you right off the bat, this thing is 45 bucks from Tesla. It comes FedEx and it comes in this little very kind of apples high style box you know kind of a velvet black finish here you can see the little red you know um, inner box there and of course designed in california by tesla design and styling uh who are they borrowing that from apple so let's just this is a true unboxing get an inner red box there as well and here is the tesla power bank now what's interesting about this is that it kind of looks like the tesla chargers right i think and so you may see these standing up, you know, on your drive. If you drive a Tesla and charge it up, it does come with a little user manual. I will tell you that I believe it's only a single 18650 uh, battery with 3350 uh, milliamp hours on it. So it's not a huge battery, but it is a decent battery. But the form factor on it is pretty big, you know, for only an 18650 battery. There's a lot of packaging here. But that is kind of to show off the Tesla design as well as make it, you know, very Tesla-ish. So I will share with you that it does have that kind of soft touch black plastic here. Kind of a, oh, it's so, I think this is, might be metal where it says Tesla. Looks like it's laser etched in there. Kind of sounds and feels a little bit cold like sheet metal. And then the same design on the back without the Tesla logo. And then you have this red plastic all the way around now. I'm assuming the battery is right in here, and the way we get to the cords or the cableage is, uh, I'm not sure if there's cables on both sides or on just one side. Okay, so, <laughs> not the most obvious thing. So there's a little door here, and then we have a lightning cable that pops out this side. Now, uh, I thought there might be one more. So, is this how, let's see how this works. So that door, and then, let's see, I feel like this comes out. Looks like it would. There we go. All right, so you got to really kind of pry it out the top there. But then we have a micro USB on that side. So we do have two. It's a little weird and slightly convoluted, but I get that they're trying to kind of make this top all nice and finished. That's why there's a little cap here so that you don't see the lightning cable. But then you do have micro USB and lightning, right? Uh, there also, there's like a little plastic cap right there, and I would think that would be for identifying the power um, state, but I don't really see anything obvious on how to activate that. But maybe I have to plug it in for it to work, okay? So let me go ahead and just plug it into my iPad mini here, and boom, as you can see it's charging, and there we go. That little LED light is was on there for a second, and it was yellow, so I'm kind of thinking not fully charged, but probably partially charged. Now I got to figure out how to charge this thing up. I'm not in. Oh, so here, there, there's the state. So yellow means we're kind of in the middle of the charge level available, and um, got to figure out how to charge this bad boy up or open it up so that I can get the battery out to charge it. Okay, so that's blinking red. So what I figured out here is we have the lightning cable on this side and then when I was pulling out this side uh, to get the micro USB cable out, what I noticed is that there is right in there a plug for micro USB so you can charge it in there. But what I also discovered is if you keep pulling on it and pull the bottom out as well, uh, and everything's kind of it's kind of hard to get leverage on some of these things but there we go there you have a micro usb or b port right there as well as the micro usb or not micro but usb plug so i can plug this in here and charge you know my android device or my jawbone headset um by drawing power out of here into a micro usb or i can pull this completely out and actually use this to charge up my Tesla power bank. So I could actually plug this back in here, which is the power in, 
and then plug this end into a computer or a charging block like this and charge this thing up. So even though I really like the My Charge hubs which have prongs, you can plug it right into an outlet, this is actually pretty clever in that you have this, this cable that can, becomes completely detached from the Tesla um, power bank here so that you can charge it up and it makes it pretty self-contained. So actually pretty clever, pretty clever design overall and obviously of that tesla style and good look so there it is the tesla power bank check it out i'll put a link to it in the description peter mom panda out